I'm so excited having been engaged in Share the Road with the UNEP team and our other partners over a period of time that the report is being launched today in Nairobi. It is not only establishing what the issue is in terms of the shortcomings in infrastructure investment in Africa, but it's also looking at ways in which we can help people in practical ways uh, as they are designing and planning new roads to incorporate the needs of the non-motorised user. The concept of share the road is to try and influence those who design, plan, finance roads to think more broadly. The objective is not to put more vehicles on a road or to have more tarmac put on the ground. It is about more effective movement of people and goods in society. But in the current state of road construction, not only in Kenya but in many countries of the world, roads are still constructed where they in fact displace even the last remaining public pathways or possibilities to use a bicycle. And that, I think, is one of the ironies of, of modern road construction. Share the Road is already uh, a partnership of key players, uh, UNEP, who have uh, great expertise in terms of the environmental issues facing the developing world, but a whole range of other people with expertise on cycling, on road design and so on. I think that my main ambition will be that people who work on road design and infrastructure investment in Africa will look back to this day and they will note that this was the time when a group of very important and very influential people came together to identify this issue and to work out ways of addressing it. In addressing the issue of road traffic accidents, again, point out that it is another manifestation of the inequity that exists in our societies. Uh, the poor live in shanty towns. The poor have to walk to work. The poor have often to walk to work in streets that are unlighted. Uh, there has been not the pressure for the kinds of things that we know will make a difference. The work of the Share the Road initiative springs directly from the original reports into road safety from which the whole Make Road Safe campaign was born. That report identified very clearly the importance of infrastructure and the lack of provision in that infrastructure for the non-motorised user. It's very exciting for FIA Foundation and all of our partners that our decade of action is being launched in May of next year. It's being launched around the globe and is going to be focusing on raising awareness of the huge cost of unsafe roads and unsafe driver behaviour in terms of lives lost and also in terms of economic impact. That the decade of uh, which we have set aside to implement this action plan is of immense importance. Let us use it as a stepping stone that will drive us into a future. We are also providing for the non-motorised transport. We are providing walkways. I long for a day when drivers to allow the pedestrian to cross. And we must do everything to save these lives. And UNEP is very instrumental in this. If there is any doubt by any person, road carnage is a developmental issue. Share the Road is very much part of the family of Decade of Action activities. And our focus in Share the Road is very much on urban roads. Uh, in those situations, Speed is less of an issue, uh, but density is a major problem. Uh, but of course, in all of these situations, the non-motorised user is inherently extremely vulnerable if they don't have a protected area in which to walk or to cycle, if they don't have proper crossings. One of the key aspects of the decade of action is going to be its efforts to raise awareness of the importance of these issues in terms of safety and the environment. Michelle Yeo, the global ambassador for Make Road Safe, has been to Tanzania and South Africa and seen for herself the impact on real people of an inability to cross a road to go to school. You have a, a very clear look at what is happening here, is that there is a lacking of understanding for pedestrians. They need the roads to be safe because they would love for, for their voices to be heard because they need to protect their children. And it seems that it's uh, universal. Everywhere we keep hearing the same thing. They have to put in pavements that should have been there. They should have put in pedestrian crossings. Essentially, they are just fighting for their, their children to have a life, to have a safe uh, journey. You know, very simple from the doorstep to the store or to the school.
They are fighting for very basic, very, very basic human rights. And they seem to be fighting this enormous battle day to day. So I, you know, in some ways, I hope that what we can do is to help them push their message along. And if you are there on the streets, you can see right away what is going on. The FIA Foundation has the mission of supporting globally uh, activities and initiatives to promote safe and sustainable mobility. And that is exactly what Share the Road is about. And the advantage of that is not just in terms of safety, which matters to us hugely at the Foundation, and which is the subject of our decade of action, but also because environmentally it is advantageous to keep as many people out of vehicles, even if they're relatively efficient vehicles, as we can. If you look at across the developing world today, the number of people walking today, and especially to work, that share is enormous. And this is what we need to understand as our strength for any future action on weather pollution or climate change. This is the strength that we will have to protect. Because today when we are working with variety of strategies to reduce dependence on personal vehicles, we want to scale up public transportation. But understand, each and every public transport trip begins and ends with a walk trip. Which means that if you want most of your city dwellers to use public transportation, you'll have to create space for people to walk to even access the public transport. Now, therefore, your public transport design has to align with pedestrian design, the walk design of the city. And that is something which is totally missing in the way the cities are being planned today. There is need for more policies, more directions, in that the government needs to make more plans on expanding the road. And when they are doing plans for the road, it is necessary for them to put into consideration the people who are using the road. It has been the government's priority to take into consideration only the road users who are the motorists, hardly taking care of the pedestrians and the other users of the road. We need some action to see that our children are safe when they are crossing to the schools. We need actions to ensure us that any road user here is going to be so safe when he's using the road. That, that is the action that we are looking at, that is the action that we are asking for. The importance of the meeting in Nairobi and the launch of our Share the Road report is not so much in terms of the report itself, but this is just the beginning. It's the beginning of a very long road towards much better infrastructure, safer and more sustainable ways in which people who live uh, in Africa at the moment are able to go to school, are able to go to work, and we have to come up with practical suggestions around real road design so that our ideas are not just identifying the issue, our contribution is not just identifying the problem, but is also working out ways of solving it.